Hi, I'm Roxy. Uh, this is a painting I did earlier on this month. And uh, with Halloween just around the corner, I thought it might be fun to do a follow-along session on how I painted these magic flaming eyeballs. You'll be surprised at how easy it is. So this right here is a skull study I did in preparation for the, the pumpkin painting you just saw. But I still have the version I painted without the magic eyeballs. Here we go. So this is what we're going to use as a base. In the description of this video, you'll find a Gumroad link to a free download. And this download contains the skull. Uh, plus the version where I've already painted the magic balls for you to reference. Uh, and it contains the main brush I'm going to use uh, in format suitable for Corel Painter, Photoshop, Paintstorm Studio, and Critter. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Corel Painter 2023, but you should be able to follow along in any of those programs I just mentioned, seeing as you'll have all the files and functionality. If you're on Corel Painter and you've already got my Roxy's Essential Painting Brush Pack, then uh, you already have the brush that we're going to use. It's part of this pack, but I just exported it by itself for this tutorial. And the brush in question is Roxy Wispy Brush. So we've got our skull. Let's just zoom in a little. And first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And I guess choose a color that we want to paint. Uh, I'm going to go with pink. And uh, you want your brush to be kind of the size that you want your eyeball. So I'm going to just make this a little bigger, let's say 50. And what we're going to be doing, I'll do it over here first so you can see. We're going to be making a, a circular kind of motion with our hands, uh, pressing lightly so that we don't go too opaque. And then we're just going to be taking, uh, like flicking our wrist upward so that we're creating this like little tail. See that? So. Here we go, we do our eyeball and then we start flicking upwards, shaping our flame. And this is on a new layer, so of course you can take your time with it, but if it comes out horrible, you can always just delete that layer and start again. So once we've got our base, what we want to do is um, make the brush size um, a bit smaller. I'm going to drop it to 30 and I'm going to select white for the color. What we want to do is create the hot spot. See most um, energy or light um, in the center is where it's brightest. So we're just going to kind of wisp around in the center. I'm doing like this kind of motion, slightly circular. And uh, just creating that, that hot spot. And might just go a little bit closer to the bottom, just to round off that circle. But you don't want to be putting the white up here because that's not where it's hot. Then I'll take uh, a slightly darker version of that pink and uh, just kind of create some texture. Almost like a little bit of smoke getting in the way. Let me zoom in. You can see it's already starting to take shape. So what you can do of course, is uh, make the brush really small. Let's take it down to 10. And uh, I'm going to grab a, a light pink and just kind of work into what we've already put down there. Just very subtly, very light strokes. You don't want to go overboard. Just to create that trail. Okay, 
Next step, go back to your canvas layer and create a new layer above that. So these are your eyes, this layer here. This layer here is going to be, um, let's call it glow. What we're going to do is grab the, uh, the pink layer and make our brush a bit bigger. Let's say 100 and wait for the brush resize. This is Corel Paints after all. And then lightly brush. Doesn't matter if you go outside of where you want it because it's on its own layer so we can clean it up with the eraser brush. But we're just trying to get kind of a glow going. And then let's make our brush a bit smaller. So if this ball is sitting in the socket and it's glowing, it would be probably cast, not casting, shining light. That would be a better way to describe it on this part of the, the nasal cavity, maybe up here a little. And uh, then we can just grab any standard eraser and just clean up the parts that we didn't actually want the glow on. Probably not going to have glow on the outside here. There we go. It's about right and not inside the nasal cavity. Although I suppose if it's inside the skull, you might get a little bit of pink coming in there. But um, let's just keep it like this for now. So that's our glow. What we can do is instead of making it a default layer, we can try... Um, some sort of uh, blend mode. Um, overlay is always a good place to start. That looks pretty good because you can see when we when we added that uh, when we added that glow, it kind of knocks out a lot of the detail in the skull there. So we can go for any number of these color dodge. Maybe that's a a bit too much. But overlay worked well. Let's try color. Yeah, color works well and probably hue. Okay, hue, not so much in this case. But color looks real good. I like that. And let's just go back to overlay. Overlay looks good too. What we can do is pick overlay, but then just drop the opacity a little bit if, it's, if that glow is a little too aggressive. Then what we're going to do is create a new layer above that. Make the brush really small. Let's say five pixels. And this part, you, you don't have to use this wispy brush. You can use just a your normal circular brush. But, you know, we already have this brush selected, so why not? So we want our, our shocking pink. And here we're going to be just a little bit more sharp with with where the brush is, uh, where the, uh, the light is creating kind of a glow. We want to get it like almost as if there's some cracks. We can actually go smaller. Let's say two. As if there's some cracks in the bone and uh, parts of it is just catching the light. Maybe you'd have something up here. Definitely the bridge of the nose would catch a little bit of a, a rim light. And all around the socket. base of the socket there. Actually this rim light would probably extend down a little bit because this nose comes out. Just go around this socket. And what we can do is just drop it a little. Let's also just quickly check a blend mode. Color dodge, pull it up now, needs to be dropped a little bit. Let's take up the brush size a little bit bigger. Let's say 10, and they're just going to be just a, a slight bit, what's the word, a, a light handed. You don't want to press too hard, just to get a little bit of a, a softer glow. 
Let's step out there. Zoom out. You can see that looks pretty good already. Then last step. Let's just call this smaller glow. Last step. Add a new layer. And you want to grab a dark color. Let's just grab black. Make the brush nice and big. Start with 200. It might be too big. Let me see. Okay, that's fine. What layer was this on? Okay, I'm just going to quickly uh, get rid of that. So back to this layer with our black. We're just going to very lightly kind of create what I'm doing is, let me switch to white so you can see, but just very lightly like swishing around like that. We're going to use a little bit of black and we're going to switch to white, which is convenient because I just have that now. You just want to have that uh, smoke. And there we go. Just grab your eraser. Just tone down anything that looked a bit too much. And kind of shape that smoke so it doesn't look like a mess. So the smoke is coming up from this eyeball. Maybe this is catching a bit of a draft and it's going that way. So there we go. That's the basics of it. And uh, obviously you can make this in any color you want. And it doesn't only have to be eyeballs. Let me just grab a new layer. You're going to fill it with black. By, by new layer, I mean new canvas. <laughs> Whole new document. And let's go back to our wispy brush. Set it down to 50. Maybe let's go, let's go purple this time. Let's say you got somebody with their hands outstretched and you want to create like an energy ball coming from them. Start again. Oh, that's it. I'm still on black. That doesn't help. And also new layer. So we go to fully saturated purple. You start creating that, uh, that ball of energy. And again, you just flick a tail off of it slowly working it out further and being really light and then again make the brush a bit smaller take to white and we want to create that energy ball the uh, the hot energy in the center and uh, if you if you start really kind of focusing on sharpening up that uh, that edge around it just starts to look more like um, this is solid um, you know like a meteor or something like that which might be something that you you want to do but in this case we want to keep it looking more ethereal so I'm going to keep the outer edge still fuzzy and uh, not not too bright and there we go. And we can take a darker purple and just work it around that edge. And then we've got an energy ball. And of course, maybe just change the hue a little. Make your brush small. And just work in some interesting veins. This is such an easy brush. It basically does all the work for you. You can have these uh, energy balls in seconds. Let's grab uh, this purple again. Get a bit bigger. Let's say 20. You can also just give it a little bit more of an aura. And uh, create a new layer, and uh, what we can also do is try um, a blending mode. Overlay worked quite well for us last time. I always tend to play a little bit of Russian Roulette with the, uh, the blend modes to see what works best. 
That's, that's looking quite blue. If we take it to pink, yeah, we're getting some some heat coming in now. Let's see what it looks like with other layers. Screen, wow, well, that's wild, but you can always just tone it down, you know, drop the layer opacity. Now there's this big old aura, and then you just make that tail a bit longer. But I think that's a bit hectic, honestly. Let's see. Soft light, yeah. Color burn, don't really do much. Color. It just kind of makes it a little bit pinker. So you can just work into this as you please. Of course I need a layer that isn't uh, doesn't have a blend mode. There we go. So you can just keep working into this and just literally make any color you want. Let's go for a super cyan. Brush at 50. We've got our uh, circle. Let's make the flame come off this way now. Kind of just trail that energy behind it. Could probably use this as a jellyfish brush. Seems like it would lend itself to that. Um, make the brush smaller. You want to work in your highlight get a darker color and just work around it there we go so it's as easy as that I hope you found it useful I hope you find it fun thank you for watching much obliged if you leave a like and subscribe until the next one God bless